Merry Monday morning, Mainlanders this weekend was quite challenging for me, with nearly all of my favorite teams falling to their opponents. Fortunately, the USWNT kept it from being a total disaster of a weekend. That's enough of my pity party, let's get to the Lynx Orlando City embarrassed by Union Orlando City capped off its season the only way one could expect, by being dominated by the team that was only one spot above them in the standings. Orlando City lost 61 in a lopsided match, which might as well have been the start of the off-season evaluations for Jason Kreese. Needless to say, nobody made any kind of statement for why they should be kept on the team save perhaps Yoshi and Dom. Check back later today when the bearded guy will bring you his five takeaways. USWNT dominates South Korea in the second friendly in a week against the South Koreans. The USWNT absolutely took it to them, winning 60. Sam Mewis scored a brace to get things started and goals from Chris and Press, Julie Ertz, Lynn Williams, and Ali Long finished a very lopsided match. Michael Citro has your match recap. A tale of three keepers until yesterday, Joe Bendick hadn't missed one minute of Orlando City's 2017 season, recording 118 saves. Heck, Bendick hadn't missed a match since he joined Orlando City SC. Bendick was hit in the head during training, and is undergoing concussion protocol, meaning he had to sit out the Lions' final game in Philadelphia. In his place, Earl Edwards Jr. got his first start with the MLS squad. Edwards played most of the season with Orlando City B, recording 80 saves, and was called up after a season-ending neck injury suffered by Josh Saunders. In need of a backup, Orlando City signed Jake Fenlison as an extreme hardship goalkeeper. This signing came just days after Fenlison's contract WASNT renewed by the club. Fenlison started in goal for Orlando City B after Edwards was called up. Orlando City to tentatively host the 2019 MLS All-Star Game as it Doug Robersonick reports, 2018 MLS All-Star Game will be in Atlanta. Tentative future sites, I'm told 19 Orlando 20 LAFC 21 DC, Stephen Goff at Soccer Insider October 22, 2017 The 2018 MLS All-Star Game will be held in Atlanta. Now that MLS Commissioner Don Garber has been able to jump his favorite team over Orlando City for the honor of hosting the match, I guess it's fine if Orlando were to host the 2019 game. Tentatively, of course. We certainly don't want to make any assumptions. After all, we may still get unkelled out of it. At least the U.S. national teams like us. MLS Decision Day Results Decision Day had every team playing at the same time to keep shenanigans to a minimum. While the playoff teams in the Eastern Conference were already set prior to Sunday, the seeding order was not. In the Western Conference, there was one playoff spot up for grabs, and it was the San Jose Earthquakes that secured it with a 32 win over Minnesota United FC. The other thing we knew for certain, was that none of it mattered to Orlando City. Free kicks this is what fun soccer looks like, with a team that is good. I hope Ray will have this one day. The beer at the end is the killer part. Freddie Adu is on the lookout for another opportunity to play soccer professionally. Adu was last seen with the Tampa Bay Rowdies in 2016. The Afghan Football Federation has not had a night game in Afghanistan since the 1979 Soviet invasion. However, despite security concerns in Kabul, 5,000 supporters went to watch the beautiful game under the lights this weekend. The Maiwan champions defeated Nang Ahir's Eagles of the White Mountain, 20, in the Afghan Premier League match. Plus, those are such cool names. Harpo's FC brought some next-level bants, against itself the perfect example of celebrating too soon. Penalty Kick Edition Famous birthdays for today include Pele 76, Jimmy Buller 38, Deadpool himself Ryan Reynolds 40, Weird Al Yankovic 57, Director Ang Lee 62, Martin Luther King III 59, and Johnny Carson 19,252,005. In honor of Pele's birthday, here is a video of his top 20 goals that'll do it for this edition of Lion Lynx, and thankfully Orlando City's season. Let the off-season begin, and hopefully we see plenty of great moves by the club.